All right, so a lot of people coming in and out Aries. In the center we have the Page of Cups. So Page of Cups can be in young energy, um, a childlike energy. Not necessarily, it doesn't always have to be a child. It can just be the energy, a very youthful vitality um, that hits you in the heart that uh, is an emotional, um, emotionally driven. It can also be a message. Uh, so this month you could get a message that um, hits your heart space. Um, and that the, and that this this message will resonate through the entire through the entire month. Sorry, I forgot to tell you what we page of cups. There you go. And then crossing it, we have temperance. So temperance balance. Um, so this this message that you could be getting, this youthful exuberance that could be uh, that is surrounding you. Um, could be conflicting the rest of the month, other things that are going on. So you're going to have to find the balance with, within this message, um, within this feeling um, of, of kind of the youth and the elder, like that kind of energy of joy. Um, well, both youth and, jo and elders have joy. But like that idea of um, unbridled happiness, you know, how children are just, they can get over things very quickly. They can um, play, fall, skin their knee, and be up in, you know, five minutes and back at it. As with elders, there's a lot of contemplation. There's a lot of um, <clears throat> thought. Uh, there's a whole life of experiences that that go into the decisions that are made. So to find that balance of not getting too somber, um, you know, too heady versus quick reactions of, I don't care, let's just have fun. You know, finding that balance um, will, will, be, will be a challenge. So in the past, we have the Ace of Wands. So it looks like you could have started um, a new spiritual journey. Um, wands are fire. So um, fire, Aries, Sagittarius. Um, who am I missing? Aries, Sagittarius. I can't believe I'm missing my third one. Da, 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 da. Leo. Um, so Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Um you know, you could you could have met someone who is one of those signs, um, and you're just starting something anew with them. It could be a relationship, or it could just be, um, you know, just a, a, a spiritual connection that you guys have a lot of fun at, um, that has a lot of zest and zeal to it. Um, but whatever you're starting really has you amped and ready to go and ready to do um, do just that. And it looks like you just started it within the last six months or so. Um, and then we have the star over here. And whatever it is that you're starting, I mean, you have luck on your side. You have... Um, you have the star. You are the star. I mean, Aries, you, you are a fire sign, so uh, you have that capacity to really push through. Um, so whatever it is you're starting, and, and I've also heard from a lot of subscribers, too, that, you know, it's been a challenge to let go of certain people in their lives that are no longer good for them, that are not bringing out their highest light and energy. And so I, I think like that process of letting people go could be coming to an end and that you are really successful at it. Because in our subconscious, we have the Queen of Cups. Cups is emotion. The Queen of Cups is in control of her emotions. On the shadow side, it, it can be that she gets jealous too. But this is your subconscious. So rise above with the Queen of Cups. Um that you you are carrying this this level of um, love love in your heart that you have control over your emotions that you're you're capable of giving to others in a positive way in a way that can be received and in a way that is needed for those around you 
And the reason why you can do that is because you, you are starting to find your own emotional grounding and figuring out how to keep your well full. So above it all is the tower. So something has fallen, fallen apart. Something is being let go. Something is being taken out. The tower can be a really sudden change, very abrupt, very quick. It doesn't necessarily mean that you didn't know it was coming. Like a lot of times I feel like the tower, people knew it was coming. They just didn't want to face it. So um, this is your outer persona. This is what's going on there. So it could, I mean, when it comes to the tower, the tower runs the gamut of what it could be. You know, just in this position here, I feel like it's not necessarily something that has happened right to you. And I'm trying to listen to spirit, but spirit's giving me different messages regarding this. So I'm um, going to have to be a little bit clearer. Um, but it's what's happening in the environment around you, which is affecting you. But it's not necessarily, I don't think it's necessarily something that is actually happening to you. Um, and, I mean, for the foundation, the overarching feeling of this month, we do have the five of discs. So this can be a feeling of lack. This can be a feeling of not having what you need, feeling unsupported, um, left out in the cold. Um, but, you know, I just, I love how Car Carol Hertzer did the coloring on this because I, I this can be such um, a heart-wrenching card because you feel so alone and you feel like no one cares and that there's nowhere for you to go. But... It really is like a matter of perspective because here is this beautiful door waiting for you to be opened and come through to the shining light and the warmth. So I, it's this card to me never ever symbolizes like end all be all despair because there is such a huge window of hope if you let it in, if you look up and you acknowledge it. So with that and the tower here, whatever happens, whatever um, shifts dramatically for you, know that even though you might feel very down and forlorn over this and feel a, a deep sense of loss, there is light, there is a place of warmth, and it is definitely there, especially because you have the star, and this is the future, and so this is, this is love, this is um, happiness, this is drinking from the well of, you know, of keeping yourself full. So set, the thing with the star is you have to truly set your intention for it to happen. Like the star doesn't create, you know, you when it's like, you know, the I wish I may, I wish I might have this wish I wish tonight. You can only have your wishes if you actually know what you're wishing for. So know what you are wishing for. Uh, be clear about it. And make sure that it's coming from a very honest place, and it and it and you can start to manifest that. All right, so here we have the King of Cups, and though it's a cup, and I don't really ever feel like an Aries has a cup, I feel like this month you're really going to be tapping in emotionally because I think you're going to have a lot of emotions running through with just this reading. So I feel like you could you you have you have the sense of king of cups. You do. And it's really interesting that we have the king of cups and the queen of cups in kind of in the place of you in, in both in both spaces. So that's another reason why I really feel like it. And that maybe at the beginning of the um month 
you're you're a little bit more hesitant you're more nurturing you're hesitant with yourself but nurturing um with others because a queen of cups often does that um and so you you i feel like you might be giving more and more at the beginning of the month and then you recognize that you have to in order to stay in this position you have to um do self-care and here we have the page of wands and uh, again we have two pages here which is also interesting page of cups page of wands page of wands once again fire sign sagittarius um leo um aries you guys um and cups is water signs so cups are cancers are um scorpios and pisces so you could also be having support from cancer people too um you could be having like in a way like i feel like this could be um mother father some somebody who has that kind of energy to them that you just feel very comfortable with nurtured by in in a healthy mother father type of way so it might not necessarily be your mother father but it might be somebody who um you know exonerates those kinds of of things um but back to the page of wands you know and i feel like you know this could in a way this is a message that is being brought into you um very quickly and and i get this sense too that this page of wands is linked to the ace of wands so whatever you started i think you're going to get messages about and i i'm not getting a sense of positive or negative with this message but it comes in quick and i think you weren't expecting it you know that you were um that it kind of makes you turn your head quickly and go wait what did you say what 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 are you telling me um and whoever delivers this message might have spoken out of turn and wasn't supposed to say what what they said but they're and, you know and they have to backpedal a little bit <laughs> like oh wait i wasn't supposed to say that you you weren't supposed to know like that's what um that's the sense I'm getting. It's like, you weren't supposed to know this message yet. And that might be the beginning of um, the, you know, the second guessing of yourself, um, the challenges that you weren't, you weren't ready for, but you, you were, you were ready for them. Um, so in our hopes and fears, we have the lovers. So the, the beautiful thing about the lovers is, you know, everyone puts it towards relationships and love, of course, but it's also about um, coming together in contracts with one another and being clear with one another and setting very um, honest and truthful intentions with one another. So, and that really does link into this. So um, I'm getting a feeling that what this this challenge has to do with could be with relationships but it could also be with work like i keep saying like the office space offices um so it could be with work that things are shifting but they're shifting even if you have something difficult that happens i feel like it's um it's part of the process to get you to where you need to go for your true for your true path and um, position if it's with relationships um i think you you might have a fear of possibly you know of being alone and so you don't want to let go of this relationship you don't want to let go of this even though it's caused some turmoil because you just you don't you 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 don't want to face it face it by yourself but know that no matter what you do, even if you don't, if you, you're afraid of that, I, the tower says, I will come in and I will clear things out for you when you can't do it for yourself. So this is not like, this is not vindictive. This is not m mean. This is 
doing things that are really difficult even though it might not feel that great. <laughs> you know, it's taking off the Band-Aid. It's, um, you know, giving the shot. It's in, in taking your medicine, whether it's, it, it, it's all of those types of things that don't feel great, but sometimes are needed to heal you, to make you the healthy human that the, the universe needs you to be. And by doing this, it's going to take those troubled waters that you have been in, in certain regards to this, this situation, and lead you to a more positive and clear path. You just might not be able to see it quite yet. But keep paddling, keep pushing forward, keep going forth to the place that you know you need to go. Set that intention because at right here we definitely do have um, in the future the stars are shining brightly, sun is shining brightly. So this month instead of um, doing my Mother Moon cards, we're going to do Angel Therapy by Doreen Virtue. And these cards are uh, by Carol Hertzer. This is the Illuminated Tarot deck. I always have a link to her um, website so you can go and look at her decks and purchase them there. And the, the thing that I, I do ask is that you just let, let her know that you saw it on, on my YouTube channel. So she just knows that we're sending her love over here in, in Heart Space. So we have um, power animal. Your animal spirit guide is a guardian to you and is helping you with this situation. Oh, so this is a wonderful meditation for you, Aries, because you are so full of vigor. And uh, it's like, I just love, I, I do love being around Aries people. Well, I love being around almost all, all of you. But Aries, you, you guys just have like this fire in your belly that is just always simmering. And it's, um, I love to hear what you have to say. Um, but this is a wonderful meditation for you. Your animal spirit guide is a guardian to you and is helping you with this situation. So it's uh, recognizing that, um, you know, you, you're not alone. Um, but meditate on an animal that you feel is, you know, close to you, that can give you the strength to carry on uh, and you, you know it's like in this one there's a beautiful unicorn but um you know sometimes there's just an animal and we i mean whether we like to believe it or not we are animals we are and so we are connected to these these different to everyone and everything um, so call on that animal spirit to kind of help you through this, to go forth, you know, in that, that different way. Uh, you know, like if, if you're calling on your animals and you see a leopard you, just leaping and bounding forth, forward, sleek, ready with a very clear focus going forward, you know, um, so really just sit with yourself for a minute and and think of of that of that animal that really resonates with you and in your time of strife in your time of questioning the situation or questioning yourself call on that animal to give you strength 